Hey guys, Richard Oldner here and welcome to the channel. Today it's all about disassembly. I've got two 3800 V6 supercharged motors. I've got two bad ones. I'm going to try to combine them and make one good one because as we all know, two bads equal a good. In this video, I'm going to try to disassemble two 3800 Series 2 and 3 supercharged V6 motors and make one good one. And I've got a story. Don't worry, I'll try to make it short. So we've got two motors. One is an L67, the Series 2 supercharged motor. And I got that motor long ago thanks to your guys' help. Thank you very much. And we stalled and stalled and stalled. And eventually I got the EFI working and got the bell housing and the flywheel and everything I needed to run it. Unfortunately, I didn't do this long ago, which I should have. I didn't do a leak down test. After doing the leak down test, I realized that that L67, the Series 2 motor, was bad. Four of the holes were down on a leak down, so I couldn't run it. So what I did instead, since we were ready to run, I ran over to the wrecking yard and grabbed a Series 3 L32, you know, the upgraded version with the good blower, and ran that on the dyno. Unfortunately, those heads were also bad. She's As it leaker. turns out, the cylinder heads on these supercharged V6 motors have a problem. They tend to wear out either the valves or the valve seats, which we replaced many of them thanks to the guys at LNR Automotive. We upgraded the L32 heads, got to run a lot of tests. Now, I eventually hurt that motor, and we got some bad bearings or something, maybe because I didn't replace the oil. I don't know if the two are related. They probably are, but I hurt that motor. So now what I have is I have a bad L32 Series 3 motor with a bad bottom end, and I've got a bad L67 with a bad top end. So we're going to take the cylinder heads and the comp cam that we ran on the L32 out of that motor and put them in the L67. Fingers crossed, then we'll have one good motor to do even more testing with. Let's check it out. First comes the fuel rail. Then it's time to unbolt the blower. After unbolting all the mounting bolts, I pulled the M90 supercharger off the lower intake. Then it was time to remove the lower intake manifold. With all the mounting bolts removed, I carefully pulled the intake away from the water pump. Now it's time to pull the exhaust manifolds and crossover pipe. Then came the alternator, followed by the coil packs. Time for the valve covers. Then the rockers and push rods. Then I removed all the factory head bolts. There was still a power steering bracket bolt on the passenger side head. With all the bolts removed, we pried it up and pulled the head off. So if we take a look at this, we've got, uh, you know, some deposits on there, but I don't see a big damaged piston. There's no big chunk out of it or anything. So that's good news. Just kind of vacuum this stuff up. Right now, I don't see any big gouges or anything. Just stuff that I need to get out of there. I think maybe our head swap is going to work out. Then I perform the same procedure on the other cylinder head.
So what we want to look for, we're going to pour some gas in here from the intake port. And we can see it's just running out the valve. That valve is leaking, so we're going to check the others and see, but a valve job at least is necessary. And what often happens with these is it sinks the seats, so sometimes you have to replace the seats. The very minimum, a valve job is necessary. She's a leaker. So, one more over here. I don't know if we quite have enough in that one. We're going to check and see. So, it looks like we got one out of the two that might be good on that head. Let's check head number two. Oh yeah, that one's leaking. Let's check this one over here. So let's check this one. Hmm, that one looks pretty good. Final one. Looking okay, so four out of six are bad. Time to tear down the L32. Same basic procedure as the L67. Off comes the blower. Then the intake. To provide access to the cylinder heads, we need to remove the valve covers and the rocker arms. I pulled the front cover to make sure that the comp cam was not still in the L32. Time to buzz off those cylinder heads. Our reworked heads and gaskets still look great. Make sure on the head gaskets that the arrows are pointed toward the front of the motor. Time to install the L32 heads on the L67 short block. Note we had already upgraded to LS3 valve springs. The heads were torqued in place. Made sure to use thread sealer on all the head bolts. Push rods came next, followed by the rockers. I then installed the stock L67 intake manifold, followed by the valve covers. Now it's time to install the M90 supercharger. And finish things up with the fuel rail.
Ta-da! All finished and hopefully ready to test. Okay guys, you can see we have our supercharged L67, L32 hybrid kind of motor because now it has L32 heads on it. We have that motor ready to go and fingers crossed it will go up and run on the dyno. And actually I like the way that this turned out. This is kind of a blessing in disguise. You see putting the L67 intake manifold and blower and bottom end and camshaft on this combination will allow me to do a very cool test. It will allow me to do a direct comparison between the L67 blower and intake because they are a match set and compare that to the L32 upgraded blower and intake manifold and I wasn't able to do that before. So we have a lot of other tests. I have blower pulleys all the way down to three inches and we're going to go even lower later on. I can do water meth injection. We're going to put the comp cam back in. We can do a lot of cool testing but one of the things that I want to do if this motor is a runner is I'm going to go to the wrecking yard and gather up a bunch of NA intake manifolds. I know you might be asking yourself Richard why would you want to put NA intake manifolds on a supercharged L67 motor? And that's a good question. And the reason is because I want to test a bunch of the intake manifolds without the blower because we're going to add a turbo. I'm Richard Holder. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. I'll keep testing.